wanted to talk about a situation that I came across and this has to do with Vlad. Um, I do not watch this guy's show. I don't watch this guy's show at all. I don't think I've ever seen one um, from his channel. A lot of it has been me actually hearing things from other people about him and his antics but I know that he has a lot of rappers on his show they do interviews for free I don't know how the fuck you can have a name and you do something for free talking about publicity no no if you have a name you should be getting paid but hey if that's what they want to do that's what they want to do um but he spoke to a comedian he was interviewing named T.K. Kirkland, and he asked him about the situation with Rihanna. He brought it up while he was in an interview with him, and that looked like shade to me because Vlad is talking about Rihanna as a baby mama and they should have gotten married before they had a baby. He mentioned Beyonce um and Jay-Z he also mentioned it Kim didn't dawn on Kanye. him that within the marriages that he brought up he didn't see um how there really isn't any difference in today's time I feel like a lot of people do not value marriage anymore I feel like people come in being who they are the single person they are and they stay the single person they are that's why over half of marriages end in divorce because when you're coming into this you should take it seriously you are building a foundation to try and raise healthy children and you cannot conduct yourself out here as you did when you were single if you want to live that single life and have those benefits of that single life stay single if you want the companionship and all the benefits that marriage can bring you then you get married you have to be an adult and adult minded to even understand that and it's sad that a lot of grown-ass people don't understand that but with Rihanna, um, he basically was trying to paint her with that negative baby mama trope because it's a stigma with black women being baby mothers. Um, we are looked at under a microscope when this is not a black woman thing. Black women do not have the highest rates. You can look it up for yourself. Um, this baby mama thing is a societal issue because men are the ones who usually propose to women even though we've seen the opposite i don't like it i don't care how many people think it's sweet and enduring and endearing and modern i don't like that it doesn't look right it looks ass backwards to me um it's a feminism thing it I just cannot as a woman, um, my femininity would not let me get on one knee proposing to a man and then to see this man having his fingers, you know how you hold your finger out and they put the ring on and it's all delicate looking and shit. I don't want a man holding his hands out waiting for a ring with that delicate bend in his fingers and hands. That shit is not sexy and it's not masculine, but back to <laughs> back to Rihanna um I, I, her situation is different because she's a billionaire and her baby daddy is a millionaire they may get married they may be going to counseling they may be trying to do it right or might be waiting until the baby comes um she has to protect herself in this day and age she has to protect what she has she's a billionaire marriage may not be for her but she may be down for a commitment you never know um and i feel like she has the right to protect herself her children and what she has worked hard for hopefully asap rocky has grown um i'm not gonna forget his colorist statements i'm and i see his baby mama you know is a uh, light-skinned rihanna um she said some questionable things that i do not like um at all but for vlad i think there's a little bit 
of misogyny in what he said because he as a white male who is used to people bending the knee, black men, some black women, white women, Asian people, you know, it, he's used to being at the top and now he's looking at this woman who's in a position that's higher than him that he could ever dream and I think that bothers him so the way he could punch at her because he felt some type of way is to label her this baby mama she's just a baby mama as if her being married before baby like as if she couldn't end up divorced as if he can't end up cheating on her like I said people today they feel like they can run amok and do whatever they want to um the way they were living before and they don't have to adjust themselves they don't have to change I've heard people of other races and cultures um say things like that it was a white male he was like I don't understand why you would have to change yourself to be in a relationship so you do you, you do have to change um you can't act the way you were acting when you were single you, you do have to make those changes and I think that's the demise of you know quite a few marriages people don't want to make that change um you really have to seriously think about if marriage is for you or not or if you can step up to the plate and do what's needed um um a woman who is not a billionaire like Rihanna it could end up being very bad. You know, let's say she um, has children, two or three children by a man and he leaves her a single mother. She can struggle. She could end up in poverty. That's never going to happen to Rihanna. So you can't really compare the two. Uh, um, that is something that women who, if you don't, feel like you could take on the responsibility of a child and that would put um, financial constraints on you. That's why not so many children are being born now because it costs money to raise children. And some people literally cannot afford it. Some people are not financially stable, which makes them mentally unstable to be able to do this. So they choose not to. Um, not mad at it at all it's not selfish it's actually thinking about the well-being of a person that you're bringing into the world but he used this um comedian to say what he wanted to say about rihanna um and i can't believe this comedian didn't understand that he basically tap danced to everything vlad was saying about rihanna and he put it out there you know he he did all the talking where if Vlad is questioned about this it won't fall back on him even though Vlad was being the hater so I just wanted to come with that because I thought that was strange let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one